let's try another question. This is question 3, a refraction question. The reason why this is a refraction question is because this wave here is going to go through a perspex sheet. So what's going to happen, it's going to slow down. Uh, remember for a refraction question, uh, this thing not doesn't necessarily have to be a perspex sheet. It could be a glass. It could be, it could be a deeper, or it could even be a shallower water. It could even be a shallow water. So what's going to happen is that the idea behind refraction is that a wave is going to change speed. It's either going to slow down, or it's going to speed up. But more importantly, there's going to be a change in direction in most cases. Okay, let's have a look at this question here. Let's delete this first. First step in doing this type of question, in doing refraction question, is extend the ray, right? This this is the wave direction, and it's going to hit this boundary here. And what you're going to do next now x is that you're going to draw a normal line. Remember, a normal line is always ninety degrees to the surface. So since in this case the ray direction is parallel to the normal line here, there's not going to be any change in direction. The wave is just going to go through this point here. It's going to go straight along all the way to the boundary. However, there's going to be a change. Right? The wavelength here is going to wavelength as it enters the perspex sheet is going to be a lot smaller. So remember, this is the wavelength. Let's call this lambda a. The wavelength here, lambda a versus lambda b. Lambda a is going to be a lot larger than lambda b because the wave has slowed down. So what's going to happen is that the wave is uh, the wave entering is go it's not going to change in there's not going to be a change in direction since it's parallel to the dotted line, and the wavelength is going to get shorter since it's slowing down. And it's going to end up here. So what's going to happen is that the, the wave is going to exit. So it's going to exit at this boundary here. The wave. So basically, the wave has gone from fast, slow, and back to fast again. And let's draw a normal line. Normal once again means ninety degrees at this point here. They meet this point. Draw a normal line here, ninety degrees to the surface. And this wave is going to come up at this point here. There's going to be this is the angle of incident meaning the angle between the ray and the normal line and there's going to be a refracted ray so recall for refraction when we move from slow to fast the angle r is going to be larger than the angle i meaning the angle of refract the refracted angle is going to be a larger of angle i uh, the opposite is true but if example that's another question if we move from fast to slow the angle I is going to be larger than angle R. So in this case, this is going to happen. So the angle here, I, and this is the angle R. Remember, it's always between, I keep reminding you guys this, but I keep forgetting it. Angle R and I is always between the dotted line and the ray direction, and the ray line. All right? In this case, R is greater than I, since we move from slow to fast. So again, just to finish up, we are going to draw the wavelengths. Okay, wavelength is going to be larger again. Okay, we're going to draw a lot. It's getting messy. Lambda a, the wavelength is going to be larger again because we are moving from slow, fast to slow, then to fast again. All right, that's how you do a refraction question.